Right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising career and business tarot reading, weekly tarot reading, I'm sorry guys. Uh, December 23rd to December 29th, a 2019. And uh, if you are interested uh, getting in touch with me for a, a personal reading or um, you want to check on um, your love and relationship tarot reading for the week, check the description down below and there you're going to find both links toward my website for a personal reading and as well uh, toward the other video of the week for Scorpio. So that being said, moving to the very topic of a, uh, our career, because I'm also a Scorpio, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the energies which are supporting the topic here. We do have the Seven of Swords, followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be uh, the um, Empress card. Then it is the gifts and the blessings, and that will be the Four of Swords, uh, followed by how other people see us, uh, how our co-worker sees us, our business partner sees us, how our uh, supervisors or bosses are seeing us, that is going to be the Three of Wands. Then it is what is going to help our long-term goals, and uh, that is going to be the Knight of Wands or long-term career goals, that is, uh, we do have the Knights of Wands. Afterwards, it is what is going to hurt our long-term career goals, and that will be the Death card. And the last one here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to us. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. Very strange one. Very strange one, guys. I mean, it's... I will need a minute. <laughs> it's like almost doesn't make any sense. Well, it does, but... All right, so uh, the topic and the energies. So uh, it looks like that we are, uh, that we are gonna act rather rough throughout this week, career-wise. And uh, we are going to be unnecessary aggressive uh, towards the people around and toward our um, tasks in general. Now, important thing for this uh, particular week, it is uh, that we understand the consequences of, uh, of our actions. And even if we are aggravated or irritated by someone, uh, we should not kind of lash out or yeah, lash out on them uh, just because it's simply the pressure is way too much because the pressure is going to be a lot. Now, for what it seems here that um, this week is going to be a uh, positive, it could, it could be negative as well. What I'm trying to say here, it is that we are going to have the things our way. And uh, it is because we st we stood firm and uh, we uh, kind of like fought for what we believed in, all right? And uh, I do suspect with the follow-up of the reading here, uh, furthermore, it is that it's going to be more successful than it's not going to be successful, right? So the majority of us, Scorpio, are going to enjoy a good progress career-wise. But the thing is that we have to pay the price for it as well. And for myself, I very well know what that means. It is about this video. It is an immense undertaking. These videos, it is an immense undertaking. I'm doubling the videos, guys. And that will take a certain toll on me. And I have to think about uh, uh, this week, is it really, uh, uh, not, not is it really worth it, but can I endure the consequences of it? So it, it looks like that we will have to face the reality career-wise 
uh, and business-wise uh, as well throughout this week, December 23rd to December 29th. But at the end of the day, we have to also face our fears, especially if we are afraid of doing something or we think we are um, not incapable, but um, yeah, incapable to do something. We have to challenge ourselves. We have to challenge our fears just for the sake of seeing that actually it is not as difficult or it is not as bad as we make it to be. So the other card um, here, oh, one more thing I want to say about these ones. Uh, it is that in case it is about money, okay, so let's say your company owns you money or someone owns you money, co-worker or whatever, you, you, we can get our money back, but that is going to be the end of it. What I mean it is that we can no longer either work into this company or be with that person as a partner. Now, the other card, it is the challenge, and that is going to be the Empress. So the challenge, uh, a couple of challenge career-wise, it is what we do have here. So uh, obviously, we are stepping on a certain milestone, all right? We are... Um, increasing the tension over us because we are doing more things in my case or more difficult things probably in your case and um, uh, the challenge is going to be how to plan long term on this uh, particular stepping stone on this particular uh, milestone now important is going to be that um, whenever we have the chance to we need to kind of rest and withdraw from our career for a couple of weeks as a matter of fact that is a week where there are holidays so a fantastic time where we can just Think about very maturely and carefully balancing uh, or uh, a balanced way of thinking, you know, how that thing is reflecting, how this new um, new strategy is a, affecting our life. Is it really worth it? And can we keep up with it? That is very important because with the Empress at the end of the day, we are going to reap whatever we sown, either bitter or uh, sweet. Now, what are the blessings and uh, the gifts from the week? Uh, career-wise. We do have uh, the um, Four of Swords. First of all, uh, this card points that we are going to face no resistance whatsoever. So everything is going to be smooth, no problems at all career-wise. Great. Uh, that gives us a time to redefine our strategies should we need to do so because this is just a um, not um vaporizing but i i can't i don't know how to say it. maybe vanishing of the problems which are going to reappear after the week is over so we can just use this week as a uh, uh, as a, a moment to catch up our breath and redefine our strategies how to address our problems career-wise either financial problems you know or problems of performance and so on and so forth another blessing it is a, a faithful companion we do have i very well know who that one is it's uh, it's my uh, assistant that uh, we have to talk extensively about the future development of the career or of the business uh, itself. Now, in your case, should you be in a company, that means uh, with your supervisor, with your boss, in generally, uh, you know, a person who can give you an, an objective uh, assessment of your performance and as well, it can offer you growth. Now, how people see you, your um, co-workers, your boss, uh, just one second, guys, because I'm losing the camera. Okay, your supervisor, your boss, your co workers, and so on and so forth, as a, a very ambitious person. As a matter of fact, they are seeing you as someone who is um, trying to do things which are beyond one's limits. And I can pretty much see that. It's we already talked about it anyway. So, yeah, it is like they are. Uh, well, people were seeing you that you are way over ambitious or you're pushing yourself way beyond your capabilities. Well, we have a news for those people. Guess what? We can manage it. We certainly can with this card. And at the end of the day, um, it's going to be a big, very unpleasant surprise, especially uh, for those who are kind of like secretly hoping that we're going to fail because we want with the three of ones. That's not going to happen. Now, um, there is also another thing how we can interpret this card another way is that people may see us a bit selfish having the things the way we want them to be. But that is because right now, um, 
we are doing that, what I mean, it is because we want to test our limits and see how big we can grow. With the Tree of Wands, it's all about how big we can, you can grow, how, how you can extend, you know, how much you can sprawl. And this is what we are testing right now in this week, December 23rd to December 29th, career-wise. And the majority of us are going to succeed once again, unless we are afraid to do it, okay? Now, the other card points what is going to help us uh, to achieve our long-term career goals. And that is the Knight of Wands. So that is a person who uh, is going to help us in a certain way. Uh, I do suspect more with an, an idea for an enterprise, for a content, or for a, a project, for something like that. Now, this person, it's uh, it doesn't have a big contribution into our career. They're just inspiring us. That's, uh, that's the thing. So, um, I can suggest you, Scorpio, to look around yourself and see how other people are tackling with their career uh, problems, with their career tasks. And there you're going to spot this one, who is actually very optimistic always. And when one thing doesn't work out, they never give up and they try it in another way around. Uh, in other words, this person is willing to do whatever it takes to uh, reach the end of the destination, the end of um, the, 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 uh, the to, to reach their goal. The other card here represents what we should not do or what can hurt our long-term goal in order to be, in other words, to be successful business-wise. Do not change your ways. That is the card of change, of trying something new, uh, you know, or kind of like changing career path, changing, you know, your plans. Do not do it. You are on the right track. It's simple as that. For your long-term perspective, you definitely are. You are. You definitely are on the right track. It's just right now we are facing that kind of a stressful period where we have to. It's not even going outside of our comfort zone. It's just you. You know we uh, we have to push ourselves to go for more and to um, obviously to achieve more. And the last card points to the guidance, and that is the Ace of Pentacles. Well, Ace of Pentacles points to what kind of a road we are walking right now. And this is the road of a... Well, how can I say it? This is the road of... Uh, of advance. It's because the Ace of Pentacles, career-wise, represents... Uh, the rare opportunity to uh, to reach and to further one's expectations and one goal. And uh, for me, this speaks more than anything else, okay? Um, so that card kind of uh, says that recently you have done or you're doing something, new project, let's say, you are uh, performing with new people and so on and so forth, and that is your rare opportunity to further your career goal. Do not stop doing it. Uh, one more thing about guidance, try to make peace with as much people you can uh, career-wise, and um, because you, Scorpio, we, Scorpio, are gonna need valuable allies moving forward in developing our career dreams. And uh, having those uh, people at our disposal are going to allow us to stray for a business success. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly career and business uh, reading, December 23rd to December 29th. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, once again, if you do want to get in touch with me, for a, a personal reading or you just want to check on your love and relationship tarot reading for that very same week, check the description down below and there you're going to find both links, one for my website and one for the uh, other, uh, other video of yours. And uh, with that being said, um, see you around. Until then, bye.